So if you have been following my channel, I'm sure you know that I have talked quite a lot about uh, REST API, especially uh, Jira REST API and all of my examples uh, or most of my examples, I basically did a lot of videos, were on cloud and because things are moving towards cloud, things are uh, uh, going to be different in the next uh, couple of years. Uh, of course, uh, people will still use uh, Jira, not people, but organizations will still use Jira data center version and uh, uh, people will do automation and I'm sure uh, script runner or things, the way you automate things on the server version of Jira or I should say data center version of uh, Jira or maybe the app development uh, will be there but because, uh, because there is a lot of focus on the cloud and uh, and and the skills and all the things that we talk about that i talk about uh, will uh, will be relevant but because uh, everyone is focused on cloud and atlassian is saying very clearly that their focus is also on cloud i am also keen in uh, doing a lot of uh, these things especially automation uh, on the cloud uh, on the cloud version of Atlassian products. Now, apart from uh, REST API, if you remember, I also talked about, uh, not just talked about, but I made plenty of videos on automation. I'm still doing it. And of course, uh, all of my videos, if you, if you watch my automation playlist, I show things that you can do on cloud. Now talking about uh, uh, further automation or uh, I should say app development. People were asking me this question uh, and they did mention it and they are, they requested me to uh, to basically create videos on uh, app development on uh, server. And I never really did a lot of videos to be honest because uh, um, I, I mean, first of all, I'm not really a full-time devel developer, although I have developed apps um, on the server version of uh, Jira. But again, those were not really massive apps, small things like you know, writing few JQL functions or doing something uh, something not very massive here and there, like maybe adding a workflow condition. And it, it is not difficult to, to create uh, an app on the server version, especially if you know the Java APIs. And of course, it is all well documented. And if you go to the Atlassian website, you can also you, you can also learn very quickly. But because uh, things are now focused on the cloud version of uh, of Atlassian tools, I thought maybe I should also focus and l learn uh, app development on cloud. I've never really developed any kind of app on the cloud version. For, for developing an app on cloud, you have to use, I mean, you had to use uh, something called as connect framework, which is still there. But if you remember, I think almost a year, almost a year back, I talked about uh, Forge when it was launched or when it was announced or shortly after it was announced. And uh, if you go to the developer.atlassian.com, the, 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 the place where you can start your app development on, on, on cloud, you will realize that uh, uh, Atlassian is also recommending to use Forge, uh, which is of course a new platform, a uh, new platform to develop cloud apps. And I thought I'll also learn how to do it because I, I like doing these, these, these things. The, the way you develop apps on cloud is of course different. Um, you need to, you can't really use, there is no cons there, there is no Java APIs, you need to use and rely on REST API. And the good thing is that we have talked quite a lot about REST API, like doing wonderful things with the REST API. Of course, it is all well documented if you want to learn different uh, uh, d different things, what all you can do with the REST API, you can. And you can also do it with the help of maybe um, Talent API, which I use for you know testing. But, uh, but when you are using, or when you are trying to learn, or when, when you're trying to develop an app using Forge, you have to use the REST API. And that is what I'll be doing now. Now in this video, I want to focus on something very very simple. And uh, I'm also learning along with you. I'm not really um, uh, 
experienced in developing apps on cloud and I thought I'll probably record my journey. Maybe it will help you. So the first thing that we'll do is uh, we'll set up the environment and I have al already done it. And by the way, I am going to, of course, uh, set up this uh, environment on uh, Linux and especially on Arch Linux because that is, that, that is what I use. And maybe if you want to do it on Linux, especially Arch Linux, then it might be helpful. But if, even if even if you're not using Linux, maybe you're using Mac or Windows, I, I think things will be similar because we have to, for, for installing, for, for, for setting up the environment, we'll be, we'll be installing Node.js, which I have done already, and you need uh, Docker as well. So these are two main things that you need. And if you want to do it uh, on uh, Mac, I believe you can use uh, Homebrew. If you're using Windows, you can go to the Node.js website, or you can go to Docker website, and you can learn how to do it. But because I'm using uh, Arch Linux, I'll show you how I, how I did it. So first of all, if you want to install Node.js and uh, and uh, along with Node.js, I think uh, uh, you also should install NPM. You can use Pacman. Of course, uh, this is relevant for Arch Linux. Before you can, if you directly run uh, sudo pacman um, hyphen capital S Node.js and uh, NPM, you might not be able to install it. It depends. So you can run this command. Uh, first to refresh your repository and uh, once you install node js and npm you can then install forge uh, cli using this simple command it, it is all well, well well documented by the way if you want to learn how to do it uh, go to this link developer.atlassian.com slash platform slash forge slash getting started and you will learn all the uh, I, I mean all the steps are there for you if you have node and npm install you can uh, simply run these uh, commands so which i that is what i did and uh, then you can also install docker so i i did uh, this, this this installation on uh, my arch linux and uh, it is very simple just use pacman again i'm sure it is something similar on uh, maybe fedora if you're using a uh, mac i don't really remember how i installed it on mac but i think you can use uh, homebrew it's not very complicated. So one thing that you need to be aware of is that when you install Docker, you need to run it. And for running Docker, um, you, you may not need Docker in the beginning, but if you are, if you want to, um, so there is a concept of forge tunnel. So basically whenever, whenever you're doing any changes, you can see those changes uh, happening uh, live in your terminal. Uh, I mean, not really the changes, but anything that you want to, let us say, deploy, uh, the, the moment you make a change, or if you want to monitor the log, you can do that. Uh, so you can keep this uh, forge tunnel running and uh, it will uh, display wh whatever things are happening. So if you if you look on the, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just running a for this, this forge tunnel and it says uh, checking Docker image 100% and then it will do some checks and it will then start running. So you don't need to do it in the very beginning for like auto deploying. You can always deploy using a forge deploy. And uh, and if you want to run Docker, I believe uh, you can, uh, uh, if you face issues, just uh, do, do sudo and then uh, systemctl and then uh, start Docker. Uh, it didn't really work with the normal user. I, I, I'm not really sure why, but uh, when I did a sudo, uh, when I ran it with sudo, then it uh, then it was fine. I mean, Docker would run, but your Forge tunnel might not work. So just experiment. And by the way, um, because uh, I'm I'm going to use Node.js for the development. You don't have to use Node.js. I think you can use any any programming language. But because I'm following the examples. Uh, that are there on the on, on the documentation page, uh, and these examples use uh, use uh, Node.js. So I'll be using Node.js. You don't have to, but uh, this is what I prefer. Keep things simple uh, because I want to see if I'm if I'm able to create this Hello World app quickly. Then I think uh, um, it will be like a small accomplishment, and I want some feedback on a regular basis so that. Uh, I don't get lost and I stay motivated. So I, that is why I prefer to keep things simple by using Node.js. 
for developing the app and I have been learning Node.js for quite a while now on my own every morning I wake up um, early and I learn Node.js uh, this is what, what I normally do I wake up early usually at 4 o'clock and I learn something because uh, in, in the morning nobody is going to disturb you so I have been learning Node.js for the past six months and uh, I have developed small projects but uh, now I'm thinking of doing a deep dive and uh, developing and developing apps is uh, a great way for uh, of course attraction apps because you can you can learn a lot and uh, you can you can use your existing knowledge <coughs> uh, that is what I'm going to do so I, I, I will be installing uh, I have installed basically Visual Studio Code and it is of course very simple just to sudo pacman hyphen capital S and code and you have Visual, Stu Visual Studio Code up and running it is uh, it is a great way to um, to get started and uh, once you once you um, once you have these things ready then you can follow the uh, documentation as it is the first thing that you need to do you need to generate a token and uh, when you generate a token you uh, I mean, you need to go to uh, to uh, I believe this link id dot atlassian dot manage uh, this link basically, and uh, you can generate a token that uh, is needed. So I'll just uh, update this in case I want to. I'll share the link with you by the way. So let us use the correct link, and when you generate the token, you can then. Uh, oh no, I have the link. Anyways. I'll just undo this okay so when you generate the token you can use the token to login and for logging in you need to use forge uh, login and uh, of course you have to use the, the you have to use your own email address to log into your uh, environment and by the way you need to set up one uh, cloud environment so basically um, I mean of course you can log in but uh, you need uh, a cloud site which is of course straightforward you, you just go to a link uh, this link go.atlassian.com slash cloud hyphen dev and uh, create a create one environment for you which I also did I have configured this uh, this environment which is uh, ravi sagar hyphen dev dot atlassian dot net don't misuse it because atlassian will probably monitor it and uh, um, I mean don't use it for your own I mean use it for development not for your actual work so this is my development environment and it is of course uh, free to free to use and and that is it so now you have your once you have your development environment then you of course you can start uh, uh, following this tutorial and as I mentioned before I will try to share a few things because I'm also learning how to do it and in case you're also trying to learn how to do it I think uh, you can watch these videos if you want um, because it, it is definitely interesting and whenever I uh, j just a small thing although everything is well documented and you can always come to this page and uh, you know follow this but if, when I learn something I try to maintain my own notes for example uh, uh, this is my these are my notes for example how to set up Forge on Arch Linux and I, I do this because uh, if I have if I have my own own notes if I make a note of something I remember it and I have a repository of my own knowledge base articles like within my local computer and I also publish them by the way so for example if you go to my 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 website I have one more no I have a couple of websites more than a couple of websites but I, I do have this site called ravi.pro which I don't really advertise too much because it is like my own I mean basically I share my notes um, that are not massively uh, refined they are like rough notes but uh, th these are my notes so for example how to set up forge on Arch Linux you can click on it I mean whatever I'm sharing you know th this is basically the same document that I just uh, showed you um, so if you have to learn something keep your own uh, local notes and of course things might not stay the same but when you have your own local notes I personally prefer looking at my notes let us say if I come back after six months this page will still be there 
this page might have updates but if i have my own lo local notes uh, my own notes that i wrote myself then uh, i will i will be quickly uh, able to uh, recollect my uh, thoughts and i i can uh, basically do a revision if i have to uh, not really for an exam but uh, you need to learn and relearn things uh, all the times and that is why i keep or uh, keep my own repository of my own local notes and some of them are also published on this uh, on this site i mean i mean if you look at the site uh, i mean not everything is uh, just a note like not, not everything is a note here but uh, I, I do have this this site where i maintain uh, and publish my my notes in the form of a blog post so i'll be doing that uh, the reason i'm showing you this because uh, i don't really want to publish these uh, rough notes on my main website which is ravisaga.in here things are slightly more polished i mean they are not like world class but uh, they are still a bit more polished i i give some thought before publishing things here but if you come to the site these are like my my notes my thought process so i just thought i'll share this as well and by the way i'll share this link with you in case uh, i mean it is nothing different from what you see here but because uh, this is based on uh, i mean this setup of forge uh, is something that i'm doing on arch linux so in case you are you are one of those few people who use linux and especially arch linux then then i believe uh, this will help you so that is all i wanted to share and talk about in this video uh, in the next video i believe uh, we'll create a simple hello world app using uh, forge so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.